All right. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I love it. So, uh, all around, there's noise. All right. Um, so maybe you can hear me, maybe not. I don't know. Um, but I, I think it wasn't, it was Wednesday, I think. No, it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday when I, um, when Abba gave me that word, whatever side. All right. I heard the Lord saying, whatever side. And uh, I got a little piece off the street, but I didn't get it, um, the entire thing done. So let me just do that um, right now, all right? So Father, just have your way as we do this in real time. We're going to do this in real time. And um, let the Lord have his way. So the word of the Lord came to me saying, whatever side, all right? And I said, Father, what do you mean whatever side? And he said, Carrie, I want you to examine Abraham. So when we look into Abraham, when we look into the story of Abraham, Abraham and his cousin Lot was uh, was debating, I don't know what they were arguing uh, or discussing among themselves who should get what piece of land. All right? Abraham and Lot were, I wouldn't say fighting, but they were discussing among themselves um, who should get what piece of land. So uh, apparently there was one side that was, there was one side that was really good and there was one side that was not so good. So, or maybe one that was preferable um, to the other. So, um, Abram and Lot were arguing about which who would get what side of land. Abram was the one to step up and say, um, "You take, you take whatever side you want, whatever side of land you want. You have that side, and Lot, uh, he's going to take whatever Lot doesn't want." All right. The Bible tells us, "Blessed are the peacemakers, for they are the son. They shall be called the sons of God." Abram. Um, stepped up to take the last piece of land. He didn't. He wasn't pushy for the the choiciest piece. He said, "I'm going to take whatever side you don't take." All right. The Bible tells us that it went about peaceably. Abram uh, gave Lot the first choice. Lot had the whatever side he wanted, and Abram had the next piece. Now Abram began to multiply on his side. It didn't matter which side okay let's say maybe one side of the land was well watered and the other side was um not so good for planting so let's say abram got the side that wasn't good for planting but abram began to increase on whatever side he got all right and the lord said to abram lift your eyes and look as far as you can see because all this is going to belong to you all right so I heard Father saying, it doesn't matter which side Abram got. Abram was already the blessed of the Lord. He was already the anointed of the Lord. God said, I'm going to multiply you in the land. I'm going to make you uh, increase in the land. You are my blessed uh, son. You are my blessed uh, servant. All right? So I said, okay, now I'm getting it. So then Father said, I want you to examine your father. Oh, Jacob. Jacob. So Jacob was the grandson of Abraham. Jacob uh, was basically working seven years to have his wife. Laban's daughter, uh, Rachel, um, caught Jacob's eye and Jacob wanted her. So the Bible tells us that um, the Bible tells us that Jacob worked for seven years and Laban tricked him. Laban gave him the wrong daughter. So Laban gave Jacob um, Leah. He gave him the wrong bride. And it fa he found out that on his wedding night. So the Bible tells us that Jacob ended up working another seven years for Rachel. Because he really wanted Rachel. So he worked another seven years for Rachel. And the Bible tells us that Jacob, um, he worked for 14 years basically for Rachel. But Laban, Rachel's dad, was kind of 
really bad. He was evil. He had like this greed about him. So the Bible tells us that Laban um, told Jacob he was going to wager with him. He said, okay, uh, you work amongst the flock and, uh, you know, the flock of sheep and um, whatever your wages is, you know, you could... Um, Laban started to take out the pure colored sheep because that was the most expensive one. All right, and he ended up giving Jacob the spoil, or the, the ones that people would least likely buy, or least likely, um, least likely get a lot of money for, which was the speckled. The Bible tells us that Jacob allowed Laban to have the first choice. He said, okay, Laban, you take what you want. And I'm going to have the other. Somebody say whichever side. I heard the Lord saying whichever side. The Bible tells us that Jacob um, gave Laban the first choice. And then um, Laban, Laban gave Jacob whatever was left. Which was the speckled sheep. Those that were not the, uh, the most expensive. Those that the people would be less likely to... Um, to buy alright the Bible tells us that when Jacob got his speckled sheep when he um, he got you know it might have been the weaker of the flock you know, it didn't really say but the speckled sheep was not the ones that people would choose first alright the Bible tells us that wisdom was given to Jacob and when the, the sheep was in mating season or when they were bringing forth young um, Jacob took um, uh, a stick of some sort, some kind of stick, some kind of plant, and he put it in front of the sheep so that when they were mating um, to bring forth their young, they looked at the, uh, the stick. And the Bible says that um, they, brought forth, um, they brought forth the choicest of the flock. So now Laban, he chose the first, but Jacob began to increase with um, whatever he got. Somebody say whatever side. I hear the Lord saying that whichever side, whatever you get, the Lord is able to multiply you. Whatever side you choose, whatever side you, you have, whatever's in your hand, he says the anointed of God will always increase with whatever is given unto them. Somebody say, whatever side. All right. Um, the Bible tells us about Jacob and Laban. Now, we're going to examine um, Jacob's scenario now. The Bible tells us that Jacob's scenario was that um, he was running from his brother Esau because Jacob was the, uh, the younger of the two. And it was customary that the eldest would get all the good stuff, right? Um, all, all the blessings. But Jacob was the chosen one of God. It didn't matter if he was first or last. It mattered that God chose him. So whatever Esau was supposed to get, Jacob got it because God chose Jacob. The Bible tells us that Jacob uh, came up with a clever way to steal the blessing from Esau and it was with a pot of lentils all right um he said okay you're hungry really how hungry are you give me a bird right for that pot of stew and Esau was so hungry apparently the Bible tells us that Esau said ah I'm about to die from starvation what good is this bird right to me and he gave it um, he gave it away to eat to Jacob. The Bible tells us that um, Jacob he had the birthright. Now something else. The Bible tells us that Rebecca, which was Isaac's wife, which was Jacob's mom, um, she overheard um, Isaac saying that he was going to die. That he was, you know, at that point, and he needed to bless his son. The Bible tells us that God gave Abram the blessing. Remember the blessing? Your stars shall be like the stars of heaven. And um, the stars 
star, your, your descendants shall be like the stars of heaven, and your descendants shall be like the sand and the seashore. The Bible tells us that um, Abram got that blessing, and Abram passed it on to Isaac, his son, the son of the promise. Because Abram had two sons, he had Ishmael and he had Isaac. But it didn't matter that Ishmael was the elder, it mattered who God had chosen. So if Ishmael would have been the chosen son of the promise, then that would have been Ishmael's blessing. God chose Isaac because Isaac came from a pure lineage. The Bible tells us that when Isaac came forth and he brought child um, forth, he had two sons, and it was Jacob and Esau. Even though Esau was the eldest, Jacob got the blessing because God knew the heart, the heart of Jacob. All right. So the Bible tells us that. Um, Though two nations was in Rachel's womb, one nation one nation was blessed and one nation was cursed. Those who stood on the God side of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, were blessed. Didn't matter what was given unto them; they multiplied. Let's look deeper. Now let's look at um, his father here. Let's look at Joseph, the son of Jacob. The son of Jacob. Just give me one second, okay? The Bible tells us that um, Joseph was the son of Jacob, and remember, Joseph was the chosen one. Joseph was the one receiving dreams. Joseph was the one with the prophecy about what would happen to Egypt, and God had chosen Joseph because Joseph loved the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jo God. God had chosen Joseph out of all his brothers. God had chosen Joseph. The Bible tells us that. Um, the Bible tells us that Joseph was kidnapped. Well, he was kidnapped by his brothers, basically, and sold off as a slave to to Egyptians or to merchants that was going to Egypt. He was sold as a slave there. Look at the side Joseph got dealt. He was sold as a slave. The Bible tells us that wherever Joseph was, from the pit to the palace, and there's this thing that we see in the prophetic. We say P-I-T doesn't mean dungeon. It means prophet and training. Joseph was in a dungeon, but the Bible tells us that wherever he was, he prospered. Wherever he was, he was always in favor. I hear you, Father. I hear Abba saying, I'll just say, that even as he came as a human, Jesus, and he was growing up as a boy, the Bible tells us that he had um, favor with God and with men. As he grew, he increased. The Bible tells us that Joseph was in the dungeon, and Joseph 